Hello, Kyle. How are you today? Hi, John. I'm doing okay, I guess. You wouldn't be here if you were okay. Please, take a seat. I guess you're right about that. <laughs> you keep saying that you guess, but you are uncertain about things. What perplexes you, Kyle? Right. A couple of weeks ago, I was walking around the watchtower, and then I caught up with Jon Stewart. We were talking about the alien races we fought against. He talked about the Dominators, the Daxamites, and a couple others. I noticed that I wasn't involved in those battles with them. And there were scenarios in which many, many core members died, and... I... didn't get a call. Feeling left out? Well, yes and no. I was then talking to Jessica Cruz. We were talking about getting through trauma and dealing with it. In my early days as a Lantern, my girlfriend, Alex DeWitt, was brutally murdered by major force. I can't even look at the fridge the same way anymore. <sighs> she talked about she talked a little about her experience seeing her friends dying. She talked about what being a lantern had done to help her feel more confident in herself, and that even with her issues, she still saves the day somehow. I see where this is going. I'm sure you do, Jean. You can read my mind, but it would make me feel better to just say it out loud. I thought about how Jessica Cruz, Simon Baz, Jon Stewart, the great Hal Jordan, and even the not-so-great guy Gardner have something special about them. Then there's me. I just feel like a redundancy compared to all of them. When Ganthet the Guardian came to me with the ring, Hal and John were not around to protect Earth. I had a sole purpose aside from being a struggling graphic designer. There are six Green Lanterns on Earth now. I can see why you'd feel less special. Yeah. What do I bring to the table? Kyle, I want you to close your eyes. No peeking. What do you see when you close them? Darkness. Hmm. What do you think alleviates the darkness? Light! What do you think is making the light burn bright? What does it look like? Maybe energy from the universe is forming the light. Maybe it's a being holding a big flashlight. <laughs> oh, maybe it's a race of ancient beings that light a torch to keep the darkness from corrupting everything else it touches. You see? You have something very remarkable, Kyle. Imagination. It can be put to good use with that ring of yours. You can think of many different ways to bring light from out of the darkness. You fight the evil darkness according to your oath. Yeah, I do. Your insecurities are valid in some regards, but never underestimate the power of your mind, Kyle. Reflect more on those things, and it will help you. Thanks, John. Hey, want to get coffee sometime? You can dunk your cookies in them. Make them Oreos, and I'm in. <laughs>